Um, but first, we need to talk about all things that are going on with Greer's. Once okay. again, cooking a little healthier today. Yes, today we are making fajita turkey burgers, which okay. I'm a big turkey burger fan and just burger fan in general. Um, so I thought, well, how can I mix this up a little bit? So I thought that um, I'm trying to eat, you know, more vegetables than a lot of people are. And I love fajitas, so I just combine <laughs> it into a burger. I like fajitas, too. Um, and it's not something that I ever really do at home, make fajitas. Mm -hmm. But every time I'm at a Mexican restaurant and I see them come out, I'm like, why didn't I get fajitas? <laughs> you know what we had on the show the other day? What? Via Del Rey, the, the new Mexican restaurant out on Schillinger Road. Oh, I haven't been. They have some, yeah, it's where briquettes used to be. Yeah. By Target. Yeah. They have something called the fajita quesadilla, which is all the best part of fajitas inside a quesadilla. It's legit. That sounds like what I need to get. Shout out to Via yeah. Del Rey. <laughs> I may have to go visit out there. That sounds yeah. delicious. All right. Um, okay, so what I have already done is I just sliced up. You could use whatever combination of bell peppers you like. I just use orange, red, and yellow. You could use green, whatever. And I have one red onion that I just thinly slice. And I have a big skillet here over medium high heat. And I just put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And we're just going to add these in here. And I'm going to get this started first because this is going to take about 25 minutes to get a lot of good color on them. Mm -hmm and get them, you know, like like fajita style. And I'm going to hold off on adding any salt and pepper until we get a lot of good color. If I add some salt now, it's gonna start drawing the moisture out of the peppers and the onions and we're gonna get some water in the pan and I don't want any liquid in there right now. I just want a lot of color on there. So we're gonna season it up later. You wanna hear my bell pepper rankings? Yeah. Red, one, orange, two, yellow, three, green, four. So I'm that's glad you left off the green. That's how mine is too. Yeah, Spiro doesn't care for green bell peppers, so yeah. I don't cook with them a lot. Mm -hmm. And it just happened that all of these were so pretty um, that I just went ahead and got these. Actually, our stores have bell peppers on sale this week, which oh. was um, good for me because that's what I was getting anyway. Yeah. Um, and what we're going to use to kind of spice up the burger too. I'm not sure if you've cooked with them before. I know Joe likes to cook. Have yeah. you used these um, chipotle peppers in adobo sauce? No. Oh, but I've heard yeah, that about Yeah, smell them. it. Mm. See, they smell so good. So you can find this little can um, on the International Food Owl with all the Mexican stuff. So when you yeah. get, where you get your tacos and all that kind of stuff is this little um, can. And this is um, peppers in this really smoky, spicy smoky. sauce. Yep. And um, they're really delicious. So we're going to, but they go a long way. So like I said, they have a lot of heat. Um, so we're going so to. So I shouldn't drink this. Don't drink that. <laughs> and actually, when I was chopping them up a little bit later, you know when you chop up jalapenos and um, your fingers can kind of sting later. Yeah. Um, that was kind of happening with those too. So, but are we're going to. Okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay, good. I, I, I made it. <laughs> Remember that one show where you got a small cut on your finger <laughs> and we had to run around and get a band-aid for you? Yeah. We don't want another I don't. first aid CPR no, incident. No, <laughs> I am actually I've. Cut myself quite a bit. I guess I'm just always in a hurry. Um, so we're going to use those peppers to spice up our burger, and then we're going to make a really yummy sauce to go on top. But I just want to get the peppers started okay. first so we can get those um, going, and then we're just going to add a few ingredients to our, our ground turkey. All right, sounds good. When you come back in the kitchen in just a little bit, you're going to be hanging out with Chelsea for the first time Yay. on air. Looking forward to that. We'll be back in just a little bit. Chelsea. Welcome back. We are in the kitchen with Lucy Greer, and she's got me cooking in here. <laughs> I know. She asked me earlier if I like to cook, and I told her I like it, but I'm not good at it. So <laughs> I'm sitting here stirring our bell peppers. How mm -hmm. about how much longer do we cook these guys? Okay, so we started out on medium high heat. Okay. And really depending on how much color you want on them. I really like a ton of color on my bell peppers. So yeah. I've had them on medium high heat for about 10 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. And then we just turned it down so they don't go too far. Um, so if you kind of like them like this with a little bit of, you know, crunch, then you could go ahead and take them off. But yeah. If you really wanted them to get super soft, then you could keep going. So that's the good thing about those. I kind of like mine um, cooked a good bit, but my husband 
would really like his like that. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to get those started first, and we did our olive oil in there, and um, use whatever bell peppers yep. you want, and our red onion, and actually now we can just go ahead and season it up. Um, All right, here I go. Teaspoon. There you go. I can't. I Chelsea can't go wrong. She likes to cook stir fries. Yes. So she's so familiar. I can with do. I can do onions. peppers <laughs> and onions, but anything else is yeah. just goes down here from there. Well, I'm not going to do stir fry then because you might show me up. Oh, goodness. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, start on the turkey burger. Okay, so we have um, a pound of ground turkey in mm -hmm. here. And when you go shopping for ground turkey, you'll see, um, you know, there's 99% fat free, yeah. which really obviously has. 1% of fat in it. So it's kind of dry. Um, so I like to buy the 93.7. So there's a little bit of fat in there. So it'll um, still be moist for mm -hmm. us, um, but still a really good healthy option. So I have that in here. And then um, we spoke about um, these chipotle peppers yeah. earlier. And I took one out of the can there and I took the seeds out and I just diced it up. And this, Joe and I were talking about, these um, you can get where all the other um, Mexican foods are in the grocery store store and they're like this it's a really smoky spicy sauce and it's a pepper um, and so I would like I just open it up with my fingers and I'm um, take the seeds yeah, out. yeah yeah so now does this it make it super spicy what kind of level of heat were we talking about if you just I just use one so it's not gonna be super super spicy but they do pack a punch so um, if you like things super hot then yeah. you can add two or add some of the um, the just liquid the that it's yeah. in but I just did the one so it's gonna give us a nice smoky flavor with a little bit of heat so it won't be too much for us mm -hmm. and then I did one clove of garlic that I just chopped up and then um, a quarter teaspoon of pepper and a teaspoon of salt and we're also going to make a sauce later. Whenever I have burgers, I love to make a sauce. Um, and a lot of times I use, and people have seen me do it on here before, plain yogurt yeah. um, to make sauces with. And today I'm going to do a combo of some yogurt and also just a little bit of mayo. And we're going to use those peppers again. So we're going to have a yummy sauce when, when we're doing... Um, for the burgers. For the, so I think I could do this. Yes, you could do this. This is so easy. And um, and when people, actually I just had a friend this morning um, was like, what do you what do you do for lunch? My friend Mary Kyle and I, yeah. um, you know, talk a lot. She's my friend from college, but she lives in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And so thank goodness for text messages, you know. Right. But I was like, I, make some turkey burgers. You know, you'll get four burgers out of this. That's four days of lunches. Yep. And then you have something to make. And it's really not that expensive, but especially no. at Greer's. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's so affordable to cook at home, and especially, like you said, at Greer's, um, all of our prices are incredible. I mean, every time somebody goes in there and shops, they're like, Oh my gosh, these prices. My friend Rachel who shops with us is like, why does anybody shop anywhere else? I'm like, I don't know. Well, so you have a lot of friends. I do have a lot of friends. And I'm so lucky that they are all, um, you know, so supportive right. of us. Right. So what's the latest going on at Greer's? What you guys got going on? Any sales? Any different events coming up? We are full of king cakes. So yes. everybody is, and actually, um, I know the, the mayor of Dolphin Island is going to be here talking about their, their parade this weekend. And we have a store on the way to the island so you can stop there grab on Saturday and grab your king cake but all of our stores have king cakes and um, people just love them and uh, so go in there and, and get that and um, we also when the parades start coming in Mobile, we have our store downtown at Government and Broad right. and so it's fun to um, to hear people like you know that don't usually go in that part of town go into our store down there and um, when they're downtown for the parade so we're definitely ready for Mardi Gras and um, it's a fun time of year you guys have a lot going on yes so, we always do so when we come back with Joe what are the next steps what are we going to be doing to add these finishing touches okay we will finish up our peppers we'll see what those look like and then I'm going to get a burger cooking and we're also going to mix up our sauce speaking of peppers look I already forgot look at you see, no you're doing good goodness That's why I turn the heat down. I need you I just need to come to your house or Greer's and let you teach me how to cook yeah, that would because be I need it. All right, well, we, I know we have some weather coming up. Michael and Joe are on the interview set. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome back into the kitchen. We are here with Lucy Greer working mm -hmm. on some fajita burgers. Yes, we already have our peppers and onions cooked. Yep. And that was just, um, you know, whatever combination of 
bell pepper colors you like and a red onion and a couple tablespoons of olive oil and we just cooked that over medium high heat got some you know color you on know those. what just happened what? Lucy Baldwin County Sheriff Huey Haas Mack <gasps> came in I think he wants a burger hey <laughs> sheriff. Is that what's going? he got hungry he wandered back here he's like he's, give me one of them fajita he can't burgers come over here we got one cooking about to flip one <laughs> yep all right it is man it is smelling so good you know what I yes. like about what you do and it's something that I need to do more is you spend a lot of time seasoning your burgers with various stuff before yeah. you make them because you have the turkey burger but you're adding all this flavor to mm -hmm. it with the that you added in. Yeah, absolutely. And what we did with these burgers is we added one of these chipotle peppers um, in adobo sauce. Like I mentioned, it's smoky and spicy. So I chopped that up, added some garlic and salt and pepper. We're going to have tons of flavor with our fajita style peppers and onions. And now we're going to do a quick little sauce. I love a sauce on a burger or basically anything. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to use half a cup of plain Greek yogurt, which I use all the time yep. when I'm making sauces. And usually I just use that because there's no fat. But And at least eight grams of protein if it's Greek. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's funny you said that. I think it said seven. I was just what? Like, yes. Wow. God, you're good. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to add a quarter cup of mayo because I felt like it really needed a little bit of extra creaminess mm -hmm. with the mayo. And then I have one of those peppers again mm -hmm. from our jar. I mean, our can and then a small clove of garlic and this is going to be super yummy on top of our burger so Ooh. I again I just like spicy stuff so Me I'm too. going to melt a little bit of pepper jack cheese Ooh. on our burger but you could use whatever cheese you wanted or you could omit the cheese um, and when I do turkey burgers of course you want to cook turkey all the way through so all the way to 165, so it's not like um, beef where you can eat it, you know, medium or medium rare or whatever. So what I like to do is just get some color on it on both sides and then just pop it in the oven oh. for, you know, 15 or 20 minutes just until it's fully cooked through and then you don't have to worry about it. Um, so, yeah, I thought it'd be fun to, to share a new burger recipe today. I like it. Good. I'm going to try it out. I hope you do like it. I do try out lots of your recipes. This Thanks. is one I'm going to try out for sure. Good. I'm hungry right now. I know. This one's going to finish cooking and you can have it. Really? Yeah. But then maybe I'll, maybe I'll, because I'm nice, I'm going to share some with you. Okay. Else. We'll Since she's new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I we won't should, eat all the food. We should share something with Chelsea. She's a sweetheart. I enjoyed having um, some time with her today. Yeah, well, we're so happy that she's here. Mm -hmm. We're ha so happy that you're here with us Thanks. every Wednesday here. Lucy from Greer's Markets. The recipe is online. Mm -hmm. Locations across the Gulf Coast. You can't miss it. Go check it out. Greer's Markets. Thanks a lot, Lucy. Thank you. We'll be right back with more Studio 10 after this.